Welcome to another episode of Reyes Power International. During this episode, I'll be talking about the mathematics of compensatory acceleration. What is compensatory acceleration? It is moving the weight as fast as possible during the concentric or positive part of the movement. Now, this can be applied to any powerlifting or bodybuilding exercise. However, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the squat as an example. The lifter will be performing five sets of five repetitions of the back squat. Now, if the lifter uses the conventional method of upward movement, he or she will be driving out of the hole and then slowing down as he or she approaches lockout. Now, during the performance of the first set, only the bottom half of the fifth rep, the last rep, is deemed adequate overload. That produces an adaptive response, okay? Now the same is true for the second set. The third set gets a little bit better in that the bottom half of the last two repetitions are tough enough to elicit an adaptive response. Now the fourth set gets better again. The last three repetitions, that bottom half of those last three repetitions are deemed tough enough to elicit an adaptive response. The fifth set is the same. It's just those last three repetitions that elicit an adaptive response. Now, training in this mode proves very ineffective, very inefficient. Only 10 halves out of 25 repetitions produced an adaptive response. That's only a 20% efficiency rating. Now, if the lifter had applied compensatory acceleration to each of the 25 repetitions, an adaptive response would have occurred during each and every repetition. The lifter's efficiency rating then would be 100%. Okay? Now, the short and long-term gains would be considerable. What would have taken five sets takes one set. What would have taken five workouts takes one workout. What would have taken five months takes one month. And what would have taken five years takes one year. So compensatory acceleration, I would say, is one of the least known yet most productive training techniques in existence. But it requires a tremendous amount of effort, and I think for that reason is ignored by most trainees. 